everybody, it's Chuflaka back at again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we have a top 10 on the tight end position, a very underrated position. I don't think people realize how much they utilize this position, but keeping the long intro a little bit shorter today, make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed that video. I will give you guys one honorable mention as well. We're going to hop right into the top 10 right now. First honorable mention or our only honorable mention is a guy that barely, barely missed it. The only thing I don't like about this guy is he is one of these short, or there's actually a couple things I don't like about him. He is a six foot three, so he's one of the shorter tight ends if he was or were to make the top 10 list. And he also cannot air truck. As you guys know, six foot or not six foot 245 pounds is kind of that threshold for air trucking air trucking is big especially i know a lot of the audience that watch the videos are on current gen you guys know how good air trucking is it even it's just as good on next gen as well it sucks that he doesn't hit it and also he is short the really thing that really carried this card early on is that he was faster than everybody but now everybody like 92 is like the average speed for the tight end position now so everybody really has it everyone's caught up to him Kind of just fell out of the meta a little bit here. Just right outside, probably at our number 11. Now officially moving into our top 10, we do have Blake Jarwin here. This card is actually very, very underrated. I think it has to do with his price. A lot of people you don't see. This is the only one on the block right now. The only one. Obviously, he's not Redux yet. We don't even have 96 Reduxes yet. So, Blake Jarwin, a little expensive. But as you guys know, he is 6'5", 260 pounds. So, he is very, very tall. I think 6'5 and above is very, very solid. I think 6'4", you can get away with as well. But being able to air truck as well... 260 pounds he even brings really really good run blocking at 86 obviously not as fast as evan ingram but i would take the height i would take the height 100 and also the ability to air truck with great great run blocking on this card as well for a tight end and then all of his catching stats being all 93 plus when powered up with solid solid short and the medium will only be an 89 but that's okay this card is still an all-around solid player and if you guys do not know this card also does have some flow he is a sleeve one of the drippier cards in the game Number nine, we do have Robert Wood. So you'll notice we have 93 speed here. Speed here. You guys know I said 92 speed is kind of that average for the tight end. And right here, he does have a little, like, I would say above average uh, speed right here. But you guys know he is six foot. He's 190 pounds. He is basically another receiver out there. I do like the ability. Like, he does have high run blocking, but I have been told, I have not used this card personally, but I have been told that does not really help him at all. I might have to do with the 65 strength and also his just physique at 193 pounds, six foot, going against literally DNs, outside linebackers. It's going to be tough for this guy to block in general, but all besides that like i said he has good speed really really good stats when it comes to route running and also the catching just an all-around solid card i think you're a little bit you kind of handicapped in a way though with him for eight we have jared cook this is my current tight end in the game right now the reason why i am using him and he's number eight on my list is because i am in a full rams theme team that's the reason why i'm particularly using him but looking at him he is six foot five 250 pounds so the air truck the air trucking and really good height 92 speed absolutely solid like i said it's it's average right now for tight end. 92 speed is literally the average. 92 catching, 92 catching, traveling to 94 spec catch. So really good catching. And his route running is actually really good. His medium is better than his short. You don't see that a lot in a lot of these tight ends on this list. But, and then again, not really much of a run blocker there. 94 overall and only getting 75 or a 95 in the hill, only get 75 when powered up. Really isn't the best, but... He's solid. He's definitely solid. Like I said, I do use him on a theme team, so I do have him juiced up for me personally. But at the end of the day, if you're not on a theme team, this card's just kind of mediocre out there. Number seven, we do have Zach Ertz, a 95 overall. This is a card that literally is like i don't know he's like the same exact card as our guy Jer or jared cook right there i had to look down on my list i forgot his name for a second 92 speed though 81 strength he's basically the same at run blocking i do like like i said these cards are very interchangeable like jared cook and zach Ertz, minuscule stat differences very very minuscule i think zach Ertz has better catching while jared cook has a little bit better route running so it's really which one you kind of decide for your team they both will hit the threshold for all of them no matter what and they both suck at run blocking but at the end of the day very very solid cards number six we do have jermichael finley this is the redux version meaning this is the powered up and this is the max stats you'll get on him so comparing him to like jared cook and zach Ertz, when you look at them they're literally the exact same card so they all have 92 speed 93 when powered up and they all hit their thresholds for route running, both of the route running short and medium, and also really good catching stats. Although, yeah, he does have better catching stats than both of them. I think he's tied with Ertz. But looking at the run blocking, he's just much better than run blocking than both of them. Same height as both of them, and also can air truck just like the both of them. 
Just about a run blocker. Jermichael Finley, very solid card. This card came out a long time ago too. Very, very good card. And at number five on our list, we do have Gesicki, but as you guys know, he cannot be posted on Xbox because of the glitch. He, you can The max you could post a Gesicki for on Xbox right now is 100 coins. Somebody glitched the market. EA is now, I think it's been two weeks now since they fixed it. Let me go show you his stats right now on the website. Number five, like I said, we do have Gesicki. It really does suck. Hopefully they fix it soon. They have addressed that they known about this issue, but it makes no sense. Like I said, if you look right here, this is on Xbox. I know on PlayStation, you could buy him if i'm not mistaken yeah on playstation there's many of them up right there one's even selling for dirt cheap but on xbox no recent sales and this is like yeah kind of crazy you can see right here since january 29th we have not seen a sale let's look at that that's actually insane 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 but looking at him he has 92 speed so kind of the average like i said he is six foot six so we're taking a plus one an inch right there in height obviously one inch isn't the biggest deal but it can matter it definitely does matter it's, it's definitely a boost and he could also air track but when looking at this card his catching stats 97 96 and a 98 before the power up so he's gonna have a minimal of 97 at his worst catching set that is ridiculous. His route running will all be above a 92 that deep. That deep's kind of like whatever. If you hit it for that for that tight end, that's absolutely amazing. But I would say eight, nine, like I don't even think a tight end in the game actually hits above 90, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this card is very, very good. Not much of a run blocker either. Only 77, but definitely better than most. I really do like the plus one an inch right here against like a guy like Finley and also just the absolutely cracked catching sets. Number four, we do have Taysom Hill. So you'll notice with Taysom Hill, he is a much, much shorter receiver or tight end than all these other guys on this list. I think Robert Woods is the only one. He is taller than, but looking at him, this is the most well-balanced card. So he's faster than almost everybody besides that Robert Woods we've shown you as well and also look at his stats all above 90 besides that spec catch which if, if I were to miss one it would probably be spec catch spec catch is really just you throwing the ball up and maybe getting a crazy crazy animation on a high ball or whatever you're not it's it's not going to be that crazy right you'd rather have that catching traffic and catching normally and then also look at him his route running is absolutely cracked 94 it will be a 95 when powered up and 93 to a 94 when powered up and he's also can run block with 86 run block and you guys know he's very, very good after the catch. I know all the tight ends are really good after the catch, but I know he is exceptionally well compared to these guys. Really good change direction, really good stiff arm, spin move, ball carry vision, everything on this card. Very all around good card to Taysom Hill. Just sucks that he's a little short and can I air truck. At number three, we do have Kyle Pitts. I think one, still the top three tight ends are, I think, a big, big gap between like number four. I think the top three are by far the best. So you'll notice with him, right? He has the same speed as like a Taysom or Robert Woods, but he is six foot six and can also air truck, right? On the other two cannot. And he also has above 81 run blocking. So he can run block. He has all of his route running above 90 as well. And all those catching will be above a 90 three when powered up so you're getting top end height you're getting the air truck you have top end speed 93 is kind of the top end i think we only have one guy on the list or may i think it's we have two guys on the list that get 94 speed and they're the two guys above him i think speed obviously it will always be king but this card all around very 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 good good at number two, we do have Vernon Davis. Like I said, this card is another one that gets cheated when it comes to the height and also the weight. They knew what they were doing with this card, right? They they had to know what they were doing with him. 244 pounds when the threshold's 245 pounds. I don't know. Maybe he actually tested for 244. That's kind of crazy if he did. But looking at him, we, besides that, you guys know Vernon Davis gets some of the craziest animations. I've had people bring up traits on cards. I've never seen traits not matter more. I've used this card for, I haven't, I don't have them anymore because of the theme team, but this was like by far the best side in the game for a long time. Everybody was using him. Even MCS pros were still using this card. I'm telling you guys, traits don't like traits. They're not like, they're literally not in game anywhere. Like where, where do you, I don't know. I don't know. They have, did not matter at all. Cause if you look at the traits on this card online, it says he cannot catch sideline passes, which is completely false. It says like he drops open passes, never seen him drop one. Sometimes you got to use the card. Sometimes you got to use the card. I've used this card plenty. He's definitely top three in the game. This card's amazing. I think we all knew who was going to be number one. Darren Waller, six foot six, an air trucking tight end, just like Kyle Pitts here. But he does get that plus one in speed, making a 94. He even has 80 run blocking coming along with all these great catching stats. All 95 plus when powered up in the route running is amazing too. A 94, 92. Absolutely amazing card. We all know how good Darren Waller is. Every time he comes out, he's basically the best time in the game. I think 
I don't know why, but like when he doesn't have a face scan in the game, it actually bothers me. But I do love him on my team. He is a baller, absolute demon. Everybody knows about this card. Appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Make sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing top tens. You guys know that. I will have that Colin Johnson gameplay out whenever they release him. Supposed to be today, but I, the card, I, it's one card. It's a set. I, I don't know how it's not in the game already. It's EA. It's EA, right? It's the simplest of things when there's... You never know. EA is always messing up something. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to let me know which tight end you are using. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.